Well, this is the same panel as you've seen before with a minor fold here because I well, it's kind of fragile. This is the aluminum uh, stuff. It's metallized mylar. Hello. So it's very shiny. And now the question is, it conducts pretty well. And now the main thing is, can you segment this? Because if you use it as an inverted ESL, uh, the audio signal is going to be on this. So if you want to segment it, you cannot in, uh, uh, segment the stators. So what I'm going to try here is not actually segment the, the panel, but I'm going to remove, hopefully, aluminum where uh, I don't want it to be aluminum. So, I got a piece of, uh, what is it, cotton thing. Always handy. And I got some uh, painter's tape. And what I'm going to do is, I want to have a connection here for the high voltage. Let me get the other part because I'm not sure which side. So this is the other part and there is a copper tape here. So I want to have a connection point here. So I can remove it on this side, I hope. I really have no clue if this works. I'm gonna make the tape a little bit less sticky because I don't want to ruin the foil. And then I am gonna place it here because this is where I think there is no more wire on the other side. So it doesn't need to conduct there. Now I hope my mixture where I etched only one thing in is strong enough to uh, do what I hope it would do. So I dunk it into the copper sulfate and see what it does. Just gonna rinse it here. Yeah, cool. It's like removing. It's like a uh, reversed painting or something. I'm sure it is visible. I think it is. It becomes white instead of shiny. I hope. Wear some gloves actually. And the mixture can be stronger, would be nice. Okay, so got some dirty fingers now. Now let's see if we can remove this tape without fucking up the whole foil. Might be hard. Maybe it's too sticky. So far, so good. I'm gonna reuse this tape because I don't need the amount of stickiness. Hopefully it works. I'm gonna do the top side because I don't need any conductivity here either. Get my hands dirty again. Is this in the image? Short of. Okay, so now we got this. If you want to make it perfect, you don't want to have like these pointy, uh, like uh, 90 degrees turns. It would be nicer if it's rounded off. Uh, just for arcing, it's easier to arc at a sharp edge. Yeah. Let's try this side. I'm 
I'm gonna add another tag because I wanted the connection to be here as well. Um, do we have a scissor? Battery low, okay, yeah. Like this big. Nope. Not liking this very much, doing this by hand and getting all shit over my hands. I got a foam brush that might work as well, but I think I have to make it stronger than the asset is now. Uh, also got Tsatsu, I'm not sure. Might work as well, but you definitely don't want that crap on your hand. I, I'm pretty sure it's more potent than this. So this is very thin foil. If uh, it is five micron in total, so I'm not sure how thick this layer of aluminum is, but I, I guess around one or maybe a half even, maybe one. So the mylar itself is very thin. Okay, almost great. Just want to tape off this piece. Amazing how this works. One tape. Yeah, I need a tape that sticks less, even less than this. Because I definitely don't want to ruin the foil. What an issue is with this kind of thin mylar is that it's harder to stretch. But this is what you get. Alright. <laughs> Hopefully that corresponds to... Yeah, kind of. I eyeball it quite good. I think. So there is only foil where there is also wire. Uh, in this case it doesn't really matter, but if you had, because here the stator is, because it was designed as a normal ESL, uh, I didn't run the conductive stators up to this ridge. Normally if you used like steel for instance, you have no choice then to do so. Then this becomes quite useful because you can reduce the capacity of the ESL by uh, not adding capacity on places where it doesn't make any sound. For instance, underneath the spacious like here, if this was conductive, and that has steel on both sides, it will, would add to the capacity of the panel. And in this case, it doesn't. So now I'm gonna flip them together and see what it does compared to the graphite crudely coated version. My guess is, 
Ah, resonance is quite okay. Oh, well, we'll just see. But uh, that's uh, some progress from my end. See ya.